Carrying on from our last video, let's look at the most popular scenario for professional photographers and keen enthusiasts using full frame 36 megapixel digital cameras. Now this camera here, uh, Nikon D800, uh, we're looking at a full frame sensor, a 36 megapixel sensor, it actually captures a total of 7360 pixels by 4912. So that's just over 36 million pixels. Now when we print, uh, when we size up to print using this camera, conventionally we would use 300 pixels per inch. Now at A4, if we used 300 pixels per inch, we'd only actually cap or use three and a half thousand pixels in this direction and two and a half thousand pixels in that direction. Um, so the total of, of, of the genuine pixels we'd actually capture would be about eight and a half million pixels. So over three quarters of the genuine pixels that we've got to play with will be lost. Out of four genuine camera pixels that we've got, uh, the software would average out um, the four until we've got one pixel remaining. So three quarters are actually not being used. Now what do we do about this? Well, we're suggesting that the ideal document resolution would be around, let's have a look, 36 megapixels, A4, 600 pixels per inch. So if we use 600 pixels per inch, we would actually be using virtually all of the genuine camera sensor pixels that we've captured for this, uh, this size of camera. Let's go further on now and talk about A3. When we size the print at 300 pixels per inch for a camera such as this, if we're only using uh, 300 pixels per inch, we would only use 4,960 pixels in this direction, 3,500 pixels in this direction, which is a total of just over 17 million pixels. So over 50% of the other pixels wouldn't be used. So for every two genuine camera pixels we're capturing, the software averages the two out and carries forward only one genuine uh, uh, pixel. Now we say that the ideal uh, um, resolution, the ideal document resolution for this sort of camera when you're creating an A3 size print should be, let's look, 36 megapixels, A3, we're saying it should be 420 pixels per inch, that way we actually use uh, virtually the entirety of the camera sensor uh, uh, itself. Let's go for a little bit further forward to an A2 size. Now if we use an A2 size at 300 pixels per inch, that's the conventional way of sizing up a document ready to print, we find we're actually using 7,000 and 14 pixels by 4,959. So that's just, just, uh, just under 35 million pixels. So in this size, you've got enough space to accommodate all of our, or pretty well all of our genuine uh, camera pixels. So um, we would say an ideal document resolution for this sort of camera sizing up to A3 actually is unchanged from the normal convention of 300 pixels per inch. So basically we're saying when you've got a camera like this and you want to print to A4, you size up your document resolution to 600 pixels per inch. When you've got a camera like this, a full frame camera, and you're sizing up to A3, we're suggesting you use 420 pixels per inch. And when you're sizing up to A2 from a full frame camera, nothing much changes. Now let's, let's do a full summary 
Um, to, to summarize, a full frame camera like this to utilize all your genuine camera sensor pixels, you will need to prepare um, your document resolution at a high 600 pixels per inch for A4, for 20, for A3, and for A2, you can leave the documentation at the additional 300 pixels per inch. But for our uh, American friends, let's go over it again. That means for, um, for an 8.5 by 11, which is your version of A4, we would recommend that you go to 600 pixels per inch. For 17 by 11, which is a quite close equivalent to A3, for 17 by 11, we would recommend you go to 420 pixels per inch. And for your larger format, 17 by 22, you can stay with your traditional document resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Now, the bigger the print, the lower document resolution you need as you have more printing size to accommodate all those genuine camera sensor pixels. The smaller the print, the higher the document resolution we need in order to, again, to accommodate all those genuine uh, camera pixels. Now let's look over the side here to this other spreadsheet that we've done, which is gonna show you for smaller sizes. So for a full frame 36 megapixel camera, such as the, the Nikon D800, we're looking at a, a, a 10.8. If we're doing a 10.8, we set the document resolution to 720 pixels per inch in order to take advantage of all our genuine camera pixels. If we're doing 7x5s, we're recommending you go up to the about the same, 720 pixels per inch, nothing changes much there. Uh, when you're going all the way down to six before, if we want to use the entire um, camera sensor pixels, I mean, that's our, that's our digital neg in, in, in modern terms, we should, on a full frame camera, go all the way up to 1200 pixels per inch. Now let's break here and we'll continue in the next movie.